This video will be a quick reminder on how we convert from pKa through to Ka and then finally Kb. So what you'll need to do initially is find the, in your question your pKa value. So using this example here where you've got ammonium ions, um, they've given us the pKa value which is 9.24. So the procedure is we use the inverse log button, that's your 10 to the x on the calculator. Uh, what uh, you would need to plug into your calculator is that negative 9.24, okay, so you put the negative pKa value in, hit your 10 to the x button, and out comes the Ka value. So that's step one. In order to do the next step, which is to take the Ka value through to Kb, we use this um, expression here where Ka times Kb is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So rearranging this expression to find Kb, what we need to do is take that value 1 times 10 to the negative 14 and then put your Ka value in the bottom there. So taking our 5.75 times 10 to the negative 10 that we find in step 1, uh, place that into the equation, put it into your calculator and voila you've got your answer. So that should enable you to go through now and complete page 277 in your SciPad. I'll see you in the next video.